There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another random DOS game show and this is Sink or Swim by Zeppelin Games. Look at that logo, it can only mean Zeppelin. Ooh, some nice swelling MT32 as well. Are we going to have an intro or is this just the logo? I think this, yeah, it's fading out. It's just the logo. And, oh no, we do have an intro. Here's a ship. And look, there's a bird. And we've got some jaunty music. Everything is going fine. Nothing could possibly go wrong, right? Do, 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 do. So, the chef's asleep. Uh, and, yep, nobody has a care in the world. Everything is fine. Oh no, the captain pulled out the plug and he sunk the ship in the... Oh no, what a silly thing to do. And it's sending out an SOS. But who will respond to this SOS? The SS Lucifer begins to sink and the Daily Sun was able to print it out. And now somebody is going to their secret base in order to solve the problem. Here is our titular hero. Go man, go! We have to aid this sinking ship. Sink or Swim. That is the name of the game. That was, that was a fairly interesting little introduction. I, I don't usually watch them, but... Okay. Let's see what we've got here. We are Kevin Codner, Hero Handsomus. And we have to rescue Dim Passenger, Kim, Kim Basinger, Kevin Costner. Anyway, Homo Panicus. So they're going to be like lemmings, aren't they? So we can climb ladders, go left and right and descend ladders... Bomb raft, pause quit, and then we can space to jump, and it activates switches. Okay, this could be uh, this could be complicated. We've got Kevin's exit, a passenger exit, ladders, oxygen switches, conveyor switches. Oh boy. Okay, let let's actually give it a go before we judge. Okay, here we come. And I have to say, excellent music, right off the bat. Yep. And we've got uh, some sound there as well. So, we have our, our character, he can jump with space. There, There's the Homo Panicus. So, we need to rescue them. Uh, let's go up this ladder. Ah, so, that bulkhead there is in the way. So, we need... There, yes, the conveyor belt is wrong, so if we switch that... Yes, they'll go against the bulkhead. Right, we'll switch that back. You, you guys stay over there, okay? And we shall try and bomb the bulkhead. Oh, it is a bomb. I, I guess I better go over here with you guys. Okay, B to bomb. Let's switch that conveyor belt again. Yeah, that worked. Oh, it's totally Lemmings, isn't it? Yes. And yeah, it's even got passwords for levels. So this is essentially a Lemmings clone of sorts. But if you look at the scale of the SS Lucifer here, and those little squares, you can see there's like 60 to 100 levels or something crazy. All right, we are into the next level. And, uh, the, oh, these guys can climb ladders? Where, where are you guys going? Uh, oh, I can apparently climb upside down on things. Sweet. Um, so where are you guys going? Th there's a conveyor belt there. Let's just jump up and see. Right, now that we know that they can climb ladders, 
we can switch this conveyor belt and now climb up. Yes. Right. Where, where are you guys going now? Now, uh, yes, they'll, they'll fall and then that's the airlock, isn't it? That's where they need to go. I have to say, platforming is quite nice. It's not, not, not too bad in the slightest. Right, you're free. Go. Yes, success. And uh, on to the next one. Hey, that wasn't bad at all. That was very, very playable. What's next? Oh no. I think we've come to an end now. Um, that's, uh, that's a lot of fire. Um, so you guys are on an endless conveyor belt. Uh, credit to the game. It's, uh, it's not immediately throwing them to their death. And we need to... Right, plant a bomb there to get rid of that. I think. Yes. So that's gone. And then they'll climb up here. And they'll get to the airlock, right? Right? But unfortunately, in order to get that, we need to get to that switch on the other side. Huh. Go! Yes. Huh. Perfect. Right. Climb the ladder, boys. Yes. What, what happened to that guy? Yeah, come on. Go with the rest. Okay, I'm not hearing any yippee. Oh, there we go. I was about to say, I'm not hearing any yippee sounds. But there we go, right. I'm gonna wait for this to swing back around. Huh! Eh. Okay, yes. That is very satisfying, that worked. Bertie Russell is the password. So you'd, you, you'd do this with lemmings and very- Oh god, the, the water level's rising. That's no good. Uh, these guys appear to float, though. Oh, that's a relief. Okay, so do- Oh god, there's a crusher. Um, so we have, we have essentially a time limit here to rescue these guys. Um, how do we stop the crusher, I wonder? I'm not going to get this first time, I don't think. Oh, wait. Uh... Oh, right. So they float up with that. And... That seems to have worked. Okay, let's get out of here before we die. That... Oh, interesting password. Spam, 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 spam. Okay. Uh, you're up against it now, man. The water's rising. Yeah, this... <laughs> this is where it goes from being a cute little puzzler to infuriating. Uh, and get over to that other ladder and then drop down that one. And then there's some sort of conveyor there. Oh no! I crushed myself. That's no good. Right, so they, they survived, but we've only rescued two of them. All right. We, we will need to reverse that, I think. Okay. Will that work? That... Why has why it gone dark? Uh, I, I don't know what's happening here. But uh, those guys are going to die in the water. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I don't think I've got this one. Can you not climb the ladder? No. Apparently they can't. End a level. So, uh, we'll leave that. And, uh, when you hit escape, it actually quits out of the game. So what you're seeing now is actually footage of me playing the game again. Uh, but, yeah, whatever. Sink or Swim by Zeppelin Games Limited. What is it? It is a Lemmings clone. Um, it's an interesting Lemmings clone in that you're not a disembodied hand giving them instructions. You're actually platforming. So it's sort of a platform puzzler hybrid. 
it's not my sort of game, but the sound and the music was competently done. It was it was solid, you know, I had no complaints about it. And uh, I think if you're a fan of lemmings or troddlers or uh, creepers or anything like that, then Sink or Swim is another one of those puzzle games that you might actually enjoy. It, I think it was most famous on the Amiga, but looks like there's a DOS port of it. And if you've got a decent MT32 setup and uh, a decent sound card, which most of us have now, then yeah, it, it looks like a quality little title that you could probably get a great deal of enjoyment out of. So yeah, recommended. Provided you enjoy getting extremely frustrated at puzzles, of course. And if you like me playing games I'm entirely unsuited to, then uh, feel free to check out the hundreds of other videos I take on any genre. And if you like what you see there, you can always subscribe. It's not mandatory, though. Until next time, I'm gonna go and sink. Glug, glug, glug.